you coming? I'm coming. What do you reckon? It's a nice looking top, that, isn't it? This one. This top. Yeah, that's top. One, is this one you're on about? Yeah. Yeah. If you look carefully on it, it um. It's got pop long arse. Yeah, it says pop long arse. Yeah. Do you know where I got that? Where'd you get that from? Got it on our website. We sell them. We do. Yes, we don't sell. Few... We we sell a couple. We not many. sell a couple. We sell don't a we? couple. Do you know what I was um what at West London it was and I West walked London. up and I started chatting to a geezer and I was looking and thinking. He's wearing one of our tops. Yeah, he was wearing. They are. They are out there. They, they are, are out, there. out there. Very anyway. good. Very good quality. Very good quality. And do you know what? I like the fact it's long sleeve as well. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Enough of that. Go on. Today's video. Last year we had some serious fun racing. Uh, we did obviously all the indoor stuff. We really did get into indoor buggy racing. However, one of the highlights of the summer was getting out and racing the um, nitro car racing up against Mr. Kevin Tolbert. That was good. And we have got one of the most amazing facilities just around the corner for us, and uh, we hardly ever go there. And I got thinking, I was thinking back to the Pop Along GP. At Gatwick. <sighs> that was, I reckon that's probably my, my best outdoor race session to date experience like the whole thing it was like great meeting you guys it was great racing yeah um andy and matt did a fantastic job with the track mm. it was groomed to perfection and i got to play with some of my favorite cars so i got to play with the short course trucks um re both ready to run but i also got to play with this in the e-buggy class and it was an absolute pleasure to drive um it didn't stick with some of those top cars, no. Um, but then there was some serious, serious. Oh kit yeah, yeah. But this is a ready to run, and our good old pit man Dave sorted Jack these tyres, didn't he? He did, and He's that really, really helped. And obviously, kit man Dave, kit man Dave. Who's kit man Dave? It's pit man Dave. Isn't pit man Dave. Kit man Dave's Not his kit brother. Man Dave. ah. He's the one who sorted you out with that t-shirt. Anyway, brother. go on. Pit man Dave. Not is... kit man Dave. No, pit man Dave. Not He's kit the man one. Dave. Oh. Definitely Pitman Dave. Definitely Pitman Dave. Thank good for He's him. the one who sorted yeah. us out with the e-buggy over the hearts. Mm. And um, he got us thinking... No, 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 no. The nitro buggy. What did I say? You said e-buggy. I'm getting very confused. The nitro buggy he sorted us out with, which yeah. got us thinking about e-buggies. We got there eventually, didn't we, boss? Eventually, and that one there is the Radix 4S by Corali. Now, Carl, tell everybody why we like Corali. Because they used to make really good race cars. Obviously, more recently, they've gone into their bashing. But I've always found with this, with the Maraca, with your Asuga, ah, yeah. they all drive so nice. They're a yeah. nice driving experience, especially with the sort of the Gatwick track and the grassroots stuff that we do a lot of. However, could we get this around the Hearts Nitro track? Oh, I reckon that will go around all you right. It'll get around all right. Yeah, I mean, as far as value for money, these cars are just that. They're they're built well. If you're going to take that one to a skate park, don't know if it will last very long. To Thing be is, honest. with this car, yeah, I've got some bad news, boss. Bad news. Terrible news. Terrible news. The worst news I've heard. The worst news in a you've very heard long time. In a very long time. Almost as upsetting as the fact that they discontinued the MO3. You're going to tell me they're discontinuing that, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They've replaced it, boss. They've replaced it. Yeah. What have they replaced it with then? Something under there, or they've replaced it with that? <gasps> with this one here. Yes. Yeah. It, this is its replacement, and what a car it is. So this one, I believe, is called the XB6, or the Spark XB6, to be precise. The Spark And XB6. it is a ready-to-run, one-eighth, four-wheel drive, 6S, right. brushless beast. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is when I pick this up, this is a heavy car, right? This is a heavy car. And the reason it's heavy is because... I don't know if anyone's familiar with the word hench, right? But here in the UK, hench means, you know, like Arnie, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or the Hulk, right, would, would be hench, hench, right? Hench means big, strong, tough, heavy. That's what this is. 
everything's beefed up on it. Absolutely everything from the shop tower is thicker. And it's actually looks narrower as well. Yeah, the sh from the but shop yeah, tower, it, the whole car is is is. This bigger. one's got a, a brace in the centre as well, whereas this one hasn't got a brace. Yeah, uh, they, they've listened to all the you lot who were complaining, taking them to the skate parks and going, "I broke the car. I jumped it fifty foot and it broke." I just hope. Go on. That it still handles all right. So do I, because, because we ain't, there is a we ain't lot skate park bashers, no. oh, we skate parks are for skateboards, man. And scooters. Oh, yeah. And scooters. BMXs. Oh, yeah. And um, kids. Now, yeah, that on. thing there, yeah. I think go on. we need to get that on track. Yeah, we do. Hearts Nitro. Hearts Nitro. E-buggy. E-buggy. Maybe we'll go on a practice day. Maybe we'll go on a practice day. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Let's book in the practice day. We'll take both of these cars. We'll take the Azuga and we'll take a few of the other How cars. about we take the Morocco and I've also got the Italian as well. Ah, the Italian. We could do a Italian. bit of um, Troggy up there. You e see, Troggy. talking about armour, right? Can I be honest? Go on they now. did a car. Uh, a, 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 was, it, I think, was it last year? Could be the year before. It was the Armour TLR tuned Typhon. That sounds like it's going to be amazing. No. No. That was the worst driving car I think I've ever had a go at. It was terrible. And? And? It broke within three minutes of using it. But yeah, it wasn't good. So, sorry. Drop it in the comment. Hopefully, get an argument. Let's get an argument going. No, all the Armour fanboys will be in there just telling us off. crying. Unsubscribing. Uh, anyway, I'm sure they're very good. But we prefer these because, because we they are. Handle better. We're racers. We you know, indeed. you want to get a car out of the box and you want it to do. You want it to handle nicely around the track. Corrales your way forward. Similar as that. Definitely. Yep. Do you know what? What? Where's the shell? We ain't got. Oh, the shell. Michelle. Michelle. How is Michelle? She's all right. She still can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, there's the. Hey, this sh Feel that? What's that? What does that feel like to you? <laughs> What's that? It feels like, Michelle. That is very, very tough. That's. It's quite thick, isn't it? I don't know, it's, 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 it feels like a different material than the Radix shell. I suppose you want me to get the Radix shell now, don't you? Actually, looking at it, it's exactly the same as the Radix shell. Yeah, but it ain't because... It's the same shape. It's, it's got the same shape. Okay, it's the same shape, but let me get... In fact, it. it's identical shape. Hang on a minute. It's the same shape, looking at it from here. Put it on there. I'll put it on there. Hmm... Velcro on this one, but we said it was a replacement for the Radix. It's exactly the same shell. Look at there that. Go. This car's got a bigger motor in it. It's just got a bigger motor for more S's, basically. Oh, all right. So let's put the right shell on the right car. So there we are. That was a, a quick glance at the Corelli Spark XB6. All we've got to do now is charge up some lipos and take this thing out for a bit of a spin. We could. If the weather stays nice, maybe we can take it down to the car killer and just... Um... No, let's not take it to the car killer. Because that really... We call it the car killer because it kills it. Every car we've taken there has died. Hmm. A nasty, <laughs> gruesome, gritty death. There is a new track over in St Albans we could take it to. The cotton mill pump track. The cotton mill pump track. Oh, we could take it to the pump track that we took the old um, Traxxas. Mm. That was quite fun, wasn't it? Take yeah, these two, fun. racing around that. I'll be honest with you, I just want to put it on a proper track. On a proper track, because, hey, but didn't we just say that skate parks are for skateboards and yeah. BMXs? But that was a pump track and a BMX track. They're oh, not yeah. skate parks. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, I like 
no, I think we should wait. I think we should take this out and do a decent video for these lovely folk here so they can watch, go out and buy, go one, out and buy one of them. Because that, it looks good. I'm looking forward to testing that out. Mm. I think we need to lower it, though. It's the first thing I think we should do. Yeah. But lower that's clever. That Corrali have done that because people out there will just, the first thing they will do is they will try and jump this thing, and there's loads of ground clearance there. And that's, that's it just feels... Yeah, you know when you look at a car and you think, yeah, yeah. I'm actually quite excited about the summer. Yeah, I am. Obviously, the channel at the moment, we are properly in our winter racing. Mm. Um, and we have been racing indoors on carpet tracks. But we will be getting outdoors very, very soon. We certainly will. The weather is turning. So there you go. Uh, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit the old ding-dong bell. And we will see you on another video very soon.